Hey, what's happening everybody? I'm Justin Zarr with bowhunting.com. Today we're talking about a brand new product that our friends over at Fourth Arrow just released. This is the Saddle Light Arm. Uh, as you guys can tell, obviously it is a camera arm for filming your hunts designed for you guys that are using saddles. So, you know, when you look at filming out of a saddle, this is something I learned a couple of years ago. It's totally different than filming out of a tree stand, which is what we've been used to for the last however many decades, right? Big long arms, typically mounted on your right hand side um, if you're a right handed shooter. Um, when you get into a saddle, you got a totally different experience. Now you're facing the tree instead of facing away from the tree. So typically, uh, you're still going to have that camera arm mounted on your right hand side, but it's going to pass underneath your bridge so that you can film on, on what's considered your strong side. So, um, you know, what we found with saddle hunting when it really started becoming popular a couple years ago and guys tried filming was those original arms that we were using just didn't work. Mostly they were two piece, two section, kind of long arms, and they were really difficult to navigate between you and the tree. So what we started doing was we started using these triple arms, right? And these were great. Uh, great option. This is what I used the first year that I was actually saddle hunting. And then they came out with another version of it, a little bit more compact, right? And these used the standard fourth arrow base that we were all used to, right? You got that like 360 degree, almost 360 degrees of rotation that you can get, um, leveling, you know, all that type of stuff but it wasn't the most compact thing in the world. And when you talk about saddle hunting, you know, the whole idea behind saddle hunting is versatility and lightweight, right? We wanna be, um, we wanna ditch that heavy tree stand platform and a lot of that gear that we are carrying around, we wanna be as small, lightweight, and compact as possible. And that's really where the saddle light comes into play. As the name implies, this is designed for guys that are saddle hunting. I'm not sure you'd wanna use it out of a tree stand. You probably could if you wanted to, but it really is designed for saddle hunting. So let's take a look at the arm first. So what you guys are gonna notice first, uh, the, one of the biggest differences I'm gonna show you is that on previous iterations of the fourth arrow arms, you had the base that mounted to the tree and then you had the arm had an extension down here that actually slid into the base. This one is exactly the opposite of that. So I'm gonna take my camera off here real quick so that we could take this off. What you're gonna notice when I slide this out of here is that this post is actually attached into the base itself and then the arm has a hole in it. So what that does actually is it makes this a little bit more compact uh, of a unit. You don't have this piece kind of sticking out of the bottom. It's actually just attached to the base right here. So as you guys can see, this is a triple arm. It stacks vertically. It stacks completely flat as well. Whereas in previous iterations, we had you know, it went up, down, and then back up. So it never folded perfectly flat. It was close, it was pretty good. Um, this one is a little bit more flat and it's also lighter weight. The arm itself here weighs just over one pound and the base is just over a pound. So in total, the base with the strap and the arm, not including your fluid head or your camera, you're just a little bit over two pounds. You're like 2.3 pounds, something like that, which is the lightest, most compact unit that Fourth Arrow has ever made. Again, with saddle hunting, the name of the game uh, is being lightweight and compact. So what you're gonna see here is this arm slides right down into there. It's gonna give you 24 inches of reach and it's gonna support uh, up to five pounds of camera gear. So this is my camera that I use for filming my hunts, whether I'm in a tree stand or I'm in a saddle. Um, the camera with my fluid head and my link controller weighs about three and a half pounds. So we're under that five pound limit. As you can see, it handles it just fine. I'm able to maneuver this around. If I plug my link in here so it's not hanging out. So when I'm filming out of a, a saddle, I tend to not run my shotgun mic because it sticks up higher um, and it gives me some clearance issues running into my bridge as I'm passing it underneath. Um, so I typically just use the on-camera mic, but this is great for small compact video cameras, even cell phones. Uh, if you guys don't want to lug the camera with you and you just want to use your phone to film your hunts, you absolutely can do that. That's really what this arm is made for. So nice and compact. Like I said, you've got the triple arm so that you can reach really all the way around the standard size tree that you would be filming and hunting out of with a saddle. So uh, a couple of other things I'm gonna show you guys. Let me take this camera off here. We'll take the arm off. 
All right, so with this particular base, you get 20 degrees of leveling. Uh, so you don't have quite as much adjustability as what you had uh, on some of the other fourth arrow arms, but for the guys that are saddle hunting where this is kind of being mounted kind of at knee height in front of you, um, it's not gonna be an issue because you're not gonna need to be mounting this thing in all sorts of crazy positions. You're gonna be on a tree that's semi-straight. Um, so the way that this works is you've got a knob underneath you loosen this up and then this entire piece is gonna actually move around here. So you're gonna see this is how you get your leveling. This actually has a bubble level built into the top of the post and this arm is hollow. So when you put this on, you can see the level through the top. So all you need to do is put your arm on there, get this thing level where you want it to be and then simply tighten it down. No tools needed uh, and that's it. It's perfectly silent, uh, very easy adjustment, which I really like a lot. One of the worst things about filming your hunts is having to get everything set up and the time and noise and movement that it takes. This is very, very easy. Uh, another new thing uh, on this particular arm from 4th Arrow is the attachment method to the tree. We actually have a cam over buckle and strap. So as opposed to the ratchet straps that we've had in the past, uh, a lot of guys are going to this cam over style simply because they are essentially silent. You don't have that ratcheting noise. So as you can see here, We've got a cam over buckle with a J hook on the side. Simply attach that in there, adjust your strap, and then you could tighten this down on the tree. So it's literally that easy. Uh, you guys could see how compact this base is. Pretty much fits in the palm of your hand, right? So very compact base with camera arm, right? Your whole unit. And of course I've got a fluid head on here, but I mean the whole unit is very, very compact. Uh, easy to pack around, again, designed for saddle hunting. So this is the new saddle light arm. It is available now from 4th Arrow. Uh, it's gonna retail for $249.99. Of course, that does not include your camera, fluid head, or length. That's just the arm with the base and the strap, 249 4th uh, Arrow camera arms, the saddle light. Uh, so if you guys are interested in filming your hunts or you're already filming your hunts and you're getting into the saddle game, this is definitely an arm you're gonna wanna take a look at. So make sure you check it out.